Hey guys, it's Lauren here popping in today to share with you a super quick layout for the Hip Kit Club. I've been challenged this week to create a layout using past kits. Now when my name was down for this challenge, I thought this is perfect because I have a kit busting system already in place and I knew that I'd easily be able to whip up a layout using some of the beautiful past kits over the last six months for the Hip Kit Club. Now I have this little photo of my puppy Elsa. This she was as always in the morning she greets me and when I go out and check what the day looks like and I open my door she she's a big part of our everyday life and usually walks with me while I'm doing my morning routine. So I thought I'd just capture a little shot of that and I thought why not have a layout just dedicated to my little fur baby Elsa. She's a cavoodle and is a big part of our family and gives lots of love to everyone. So I just want to make a super sweet simple layout. So I just began by using some of the shimmers sprays that were in past colour kits. I used the colour mustard seed and pop art pink and I just sprayed them around and I used my hand as a bit of a guide to sort of control a bit of the spray. I also put a few little splatters around just to make it a little bit more mystical. I also grabbed the Shimmers Dazzlers. This is in the colour Spun Sugar, which is a super sweet, sparkly, kind of a texture paste product. But I just wanted to make this layer just a little bit more magical and lift off and add another layer to to the sprays and the layout because I wanted this layout really simple and delicate the 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 sponge sugar the dazzler's sponge sugar should I say was just that perfect little element there just to make that that little bit of sparkle and a little bit of shine on my layout. The stencil that I'm using there is from the Echo Park is from Echo Park and it is called Shimmering Sky. Uh, so if you're interested in that, you can pop back into the Hip Kit Club store and check out past colour kits because I know there's still some available. Um, and that hopefully that stencil's one of them if you really, really love that. It was it surprised me. When I looked at it on the packet, I wasn't too keen on it, but when I used it, it just turned out magical, as you can see there. I wish you could see the sparkle, but my my camera is obviously not doing it any justice. So here I am. This photo is just a three by four inch photo, so just half a normal size photo. So it's a nice little one, and I just wanted to layer it up with some of my off cuts. So in my kit busting system, I do have a little dog clip that I keep with all my papers and it has all my off cuts. And I really try and draw from that pile first before cutting into a new piece of 12 by 12 paper. And just those off cuts were perfect for this little delicate layout that I was trying to create there. So here I am, I thought, delicate soft she's our pretty little girl I pulled out some of the pink fresh studio products and thought I would just use a few of those embellishments some puffy stickers and ephemera die cut ephemera and just add the, some little clusters around my photo there just to pretty it up some more how gorgeous are those little um glam pieces there um the 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 camera doesn't do it justice and when I first looked at the packet I thought I don't know how I'm going to go using them but they were just absolutely perfect for this layout when you pop them on your layout they almost sparkle and shine they've got like sort of a mirror a mirror effect on them and just by me putting these on the I honestly thought I don't think that I would buy those in a shop if I saw them but as soon as I put them on of this layout I just love them and now they just went from into my everyday just use it up to I think I might have to pop them in a bit of a hoarding section there to make those super special layouts so I've just added it just a few little bits of that and some uh, some die cut ephemera pieces there and down the bottom that little ephemera piece says hello new day and I thought that was the perfect little sentiment to have for that that photo when Elsa and I walked out in the morning it was a misty morning and we opened up the door and greeted the day and I thought you know I can't I couldn't ask for a perfect more perfect title there bestie and hello new day so it all was just coming along beautifully so I grabbed some puffy stickers and 
I, I hoard puffy stickers. I think they're just delightful. And I thought one way I'm going to maximise this little set was to cut that larger piece in half and use it on both sides there. I do go back and put a few more puffy pieces on shortly, but I just wanted to have a little bit of a play around and see if there's any other little bits and bobs that I could pop on just to make this this layer a little bit more special. I, I See, I, I really didn't want to use these tiny ones because I thought they'll be perfect in my Project Life album, but I just go back to the puffiness and, and knew that that would be just enough to finish my layout off. So there you have it, a super sweet layout of my beautiful fur ball and she is just going to form part of the family album and I love it. So I hope this layout's inspired you to create a photo, uh, a layout of your special fur baby. Um, and uh, yeah, so there it is. I'll be back again soon with another layout. If you like this layout, give it a big thumbs up and uh, share. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you like my style. And I'll catch you guys again soon with a new layout. Take care. Bye.